<laughs> Legend tells of an incident so bizarre, so chilling, that even the bravest souls shudder at its mention. It was a sweltering summer's day in 81 when the unsuspecting town of Broadwell bore witness to a terror beyond comprehension, all centered around the forsaken grounds of Pinky's Amusement Park. Whispers of the event still linger in the air mingling with the faint scent of cotton candy and the distant echoes of joyous laughter long faded into the ether. But what truly transpired within those decaying walls remains obscured by the mists of time, hidden beneath layers of hearsay and conjecture. Some claim it began with an ancient curse woven into the very fabric of the park itself, a malevolent force lying dormant until awoken by the unwitting touch of humanity. Others speak of a rift torn open between worlds, a gateway to realms unknown, through which unspeakable horrors spilled forth into our own. And then there are those who whisper of darker things still, of arcane rituals performed beneath the moonlit sky, of sacrifices made in pursuit of power beyond mortal comprehension. They speak of shadows that move of their own accord, of voices that echo through the night, their words laden with a madness that seeps into the soul. As the parade wound its way through the streets of the park, the air grew heavy with anticipation, tinged with an undercurrent of unease. The visitors watched with bated breath as Pinky Rex that towering symbol of innocence and joy led the procession with a gait so unnatural it drew shivers down the spine. And then in an instant daylight became a raging storm and chaos erupted within the park's once hallowed grounds. Rides twisted and contorted their steel frames groaning in protest as they were bent and warped beyond recognition. Attractions dissolved into pools of shimmering darkness, swallowing whole the unfortunate enough to be caught in their grasp. But amidst the carnage, there was something else. A presence unseen, yet undeniably felt. It moved with a grace that defied description, weaving through the chaos with an otherworldly purpose. Some claim it was the spirit of the park itself, unleashed in a fit of vengeful fury upon those who dared to disturb its slumber. Others whisper of something far older, far darker, lurking in the shadows, waiting to claim its next victim. And when the dust finally settled and the last of the echoes of screams faded into the night, Pinky's amusement park stood as a testament to the horrors that lurked within its crumbling walls. Bodies were found fused to the very rides they once sought to enjoy, their faces frozen in expressions of terror too ghastly to behold. In the aftermath, the town of Broadwell 
sought to bury the memory of that fateful day, to erase it from history as if it were but a fevered dream born of madness and despair. But try as they might, they could not silence the whispers that echoed through the night, nor could they erase the truth that lay hidden beneath the layers of myth and legend. For Pinky's amusement park will forever remain a beacon of darkness in a world grown accustomed to the light, a reminder that there are forces beyond our understanding, lurking just below the veil of perception. And as the years pass and the memories fade, the legend of that fateful summer day will live on, a cautionary tale whispered in hushed tones around campfires and to friends at sleepovers, a tale of terror and mystery that defies explanation to this very day. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the incident. Hi everybody, it's Mr. Sean here. Thank you so much for listening to this original tale of terror written by me with a little help from ChatGPT. I've always been a better storyteller than I am a writer, so it's nice to have tools that can make that a little easier for people like me. I do hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was worth the build-up that I've been building since last week, and I hope you're having a great Memorial Day. If you like this content, I hope you'll give it a like, give it a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. We're currently at a little over 800 subscribers, and our goal is to reach 1,000 by the end of the year. I put out three videos a week and a new short every day, so there's always something new on the channel. If you'd like to help this channel monetarily, please consider becoming a YouTube channel member or joining the Patreon. As low as $1 a month gets you access to all of my member-exclusive videos. I also sell custom miniatures on eBay and Mercari. Some are safe for work, some not so much, but whatever you'd like, Chimera Miniatures has something for you. You also have the option of making a one-time PayPal donation. All of these links can be found in the description. As I said, I hope you enjoyed this story and I hope you'll join us for the next video. And until next time, I hope that you all stay safe, that you all stay happy, and that you alpha great day and an even beta tomorrow. Bye bye